The election is over, but the post-mortem debate about what's happening in American politics roars on. The Center for Journalism Ethics at UW-Madison is hosting a panel discussion Thursday night on journalism ethics and the election of 2016. One of the panelists is with us tonight. Molly Ball is a political correspondent at The Atlantic. Welcome to Madison. Thank you so much. And Katie Culver is the director of the Center for Journalism Ethics. Good to see you, Katie. Oh, good to be back. So, Molly, let's talk about this wild ride that you've been on this year. Um, it's, it's just been an incredible journey. And from your seat at the table, how would you describe what this election has been like? It is possibly the greatest story I've ever covered as a political reporter. As you said, it has been a wild ride. Unexpected twists and turns at every moment. Of course, uh, Donald Trump in particular, such an unprecedented phenomenon in American politics, uh, so disruptive to a lot of the assumptions of political analysts, political reporters, camp campaign strategists. Um, and so as a reporter, I love to be confronted by something new. I love to try to report and understand and investigate uh, something I've never seen before. So it's been a tremendous privilege from but, that perspective. But he is quite critical of the media and the press. How do, how do you respond to that? I think we have to keep our eye on doing our job, not getting personally invested or taking a side in a fight with a politician. I think Trump has certainly upped the ante in his rhetoric toward the press and, and threats to reporters, which we have to take seriously. Uh, but politicians have used the media as punching bags for a long time, as I'm sure you're aware. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think it's important for us to not get sucked into that fight and just stay focused on what is the truth, how do we discover it, and how do we convey it to our, our readers or our viewers. And the ethical component in that is, I'm sure, what you're going to be talking about on Thursday. Tell, tell us a little bit about the panel that so you the, put together. Great. So the panel will um, include Molly, um, my colleague Mike Wagner, who, is a, uh, who studies political communication, and then Craig Gilbert, who is a reporter for the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel and does some really interesting work on Wisconsin in particular, but also uh, the state of the nation. And so we're going to dive into some questions. What are the things that people are um, criticizing the media about in this election? What are some of the ways forward? How do you uh, find that path? when you have someone who is bucking most, if not all, of the norms of, you know, campaigns and now an administration. What does it mean? How do we, how do we move on? How do you do it? Well, you're going to have to come Thursday <laughs> okay, night to yeah. get the answer to that one. How are your students reacting to all this criticism by Mr. Trump to the media? So I, I would say that some of my students are, are concerned not just about that criticism, but about... Um, members of the public, the citizens who are expressing that level of distrust and that level of antipathy, you know, they, uh, they, they say, well, what does that mean for me? How do I win back um, people who are so um, distrustful? And I think it's great when you have a 21-year-old asking those kinds of questions, when you have someone who really wants to engage with citizens, report the truth, but understands that some people want to reject that. Mm -hmm. Molly, what's your perspective on that? Well, I think if you want to be liked, you shouldn't go into journalism. This is a profession for uh, people who are willing, in a lot of cases, to be reviled by the public because the truth has to be more important than anybody's opinion of you. Uh, and so, you know, as a political reporter, I have had uh, politicians and partisans uh, telling me they didn't like what they were hearing in the news for a very long time. Uh, but it's not a popularity contest, and we're not running in any elections, fortunately, because I don't think we'd win. <laughs> are you, uh, are you, it does seem like it has changed. It are, does seem like if you look at the ratings of the public toward the press, it's gotten much, much more negative. I think politicians who have uh, played into people's distrust of the media and of other institutions have played a big role in that. So how do you counter that? Again, I don't think it's our job to be popular. I think all we can do is continue to do our jobs, continue to find out the truth and report it, uh, and, uh, you know, we shouldn't take sides. We shouldn't decide that we are, you know, going to try to influence an election in one way or the other. We have to try to be honest brokers. Uh, and uh, it is not up to us if anybody likes that or not. It's going to be a fascinating yes, discussion. We didn't even get to talk about the fake news sites. I'm sure that's part of all <laughs> Well, I can, I can come back and talk about that yeah, as we well. Should, but we, we will be exploring that on Thursday night, so please join us. All right. The Center for Journalism Ethics panel is Thursday night. December 8th, 6.30 p.m. at the Overture Center. Is it free? Free and open to the public. Oh, that'll be a All great welcome. discussion. It'll be fascinating. Thanks for being with us. Good today. to see you both. Great Thank to meet you. you. We'll be right back with one final check of your forecast.